grew up in Hyderabad and Karachi, so born and bred in Pakistan. Uh, after my schooling, I decided to go to the UK and went to the London School of Economics to pursue a bachelor's in mathematics and a minor in economics. moving back was always on the cards and you know after a decade of investment banking and you know traveling the world uh, the right opportunity came about in the shape of TCS where again obviously it's a leading courier company in Pakistan and then after about four years at TCS um, I decided to move to TPL Cracker. This current age of information, it's probably you know already entering the point of debate where you need to probably slow down the influx of information and draw the right filters and probably those who can actually filter the right information will be the winners. The whole genesis of TPL Tracker was from you know a certain law and order situation, a certain need uh, for the masses that we were able to fill. And then as we you know fast forward uh, to the last five to six years, that has obviously evolved further into mobile dashboards, fuel analytics, as you know, inflation and cost pressures go up. Um, so we've obviously carried uh, that wave of innovation and brought solutions to our clients. People can use it across their households. You've got smart homes, uh, you've got energy monitoring solutions that can be scaled down to you know, control our fuel bills, our water usage in a country where water still flows around in tankers. Um, and then obviously your core car consumption, right? And the various predictive maintenance schedule that we can give, uh, you know, fuel analytics, harsh braking, driver dashboards. And we see a lot of use cases with the various FMCGs. Most are not, you know, present in KLI, where we are empowering, you know, hauliers and transporters who move through, you know, the, the length and breadth of the country with something as simple as route deviations, optimized, you know, route planning, uh, fuel and maintenance, uh, you know, control. And that can result in millions and millions of rupees in, in uh, you know, cost savings. The main thing that's driving us uh, is again the, the desire to compete and be competitive on a global scale. I think that's hands down uh, the biggest you know, thing that motivates me. Uh, again, having worked abroad, I, saw, I see no reason why you know we should be left behind or, or why Pakistanis should not be at a global scale where our neighbors are and you know many other regional counterparts are. The goal is to empower our users versus us trying to prescribe what anybody should be doing. And that's the general thesis that we're trying to you know chart the next wave of our journey on. As we talk about the new vision which is around connecting the future, a lot of that revolves around the fact that we are connecting telematics, sensors, data points, regardless of where they come from, into an equation that makes sense. And the science of actually converging all of those data inputs, and mind you, I mean, there can be a huge range of operational efficiency in that input, depending on the quality of devices, the connection, and the data coverage, right? Uh, so you also have to account for those variables and provide a picture that is as accurate as possible. We do need the right kind of talent. Um, you know, a lot of the recent hires have been around companies or, or have been from companies uh, from enterprise solution bases, you know, big technology powerhouses where we can bring some of those insights and actually communicate, you know, the right sales pitch to the customer. Because again, it's not the customer's job to become self-aware or, you know, understand your product. You have to make it simple, uh, you know, simplified and, you know, you have to articulate it in, in the right language so that the customer understands what they need. And that's obviously the closest way uh, or the quickest way to close a sale. And I think on that journey, there's, there's probably a lot for the, for the nation to learn, a lot of the talent that we're looking for, even at top institutions require a lot of grooming. Um, what I do feel is also another you know, area of concern is the exposure that is also lacking. So, you know, TPL stands out as one of the few companies that's already, uh, you know, has regional ambitions, has regional presence and strives or you know, aspires to compete at a global scale. And I must say, even as a Pakistani, that it's not very, uh, you know, motivating to see that, you know, very few of our industries are competitive at a global scale or have, you know, the plans to. The UAE was a market that uh, we entered, I think, way back in 2006. And probably, you know, whilst it's been a smaller partnership uh, for, the, for the major part of that journey, over the last couple of years, we've taken a controlling stake. And again, 
with the desire to control more of our destiny and our ambitions, I think it was critical that we invest in that base as well. Obviously, we're employing Pakistanis over there. Uh, we've got a great client portfolio. We're serving companies that obviously are global giants, uh, which also gives us a great edge in terms of learning and sort of product innovation and, and cross-selling to the Pakistani entity, right? So the, the clear goal there is again, to become a leading regional player, compete with the best and serve the best. So then, you know, you become a much stronger brand. I think it obviously chimes well with the overall corp strategy as well as the group diversifies and so you know all in all it's a fairly synergistic ecosystem the way i look at it and you know there's all sorts of benefits that come through as you connect these ideas not just you know within the tpl ecosystem but then with our partners uh, and, and supply chain uh, contributors as well so consumer or b2c is probably at the major chunk of our base today uh, and again that's you know part of the journey of where tpl started and we all are familiar with our app, our you know our call center, our recovery team, which help us you know customers day and night in terms of providing asset security. Uh, these are predominantly for moving assets because again, as I think about the industrial IoT solutions, they tend to be fairly expensive and large scale. Um, and the rest is our corporate business, and that spans across industries from obviously the traditional transporters, hauliers, um, you know goods movers, shippers, carriers as well as you know, more niche industries like FMCGs where you're giving more localized solutions to the best of our abilities. And a key example around that is obviously, you know, predominantly vehicle tracking was at the fore if I look at the industry five to six years ago. But over the last five years, the road transport safety, uh, the fuel analytics and basically, uh, you know, reducing pill fridge, as well as driver fatigue and driver analytics have become critical. And again, you know, that's driven by global and regional changes, which then tend to upgrade the industry at home as well. One of the most exciting case studies came through in a government department where our fuel sensors enabled and the monthly fuel cost to go down from about 25 million rupees to about four. And obviously, no global mark, uh, benchmark made sense and I was very curious what happened and you know long story short it was essentially the wrong kind of expenses being dumped into a category all we you know at a government department we will not name uh, where again people were taking advantage of the inefficiency in, in the current ecosystem and just gives you the scale of opportunity in a country like Pakistan you know when people do move back uh, this is what I want to highlight is is our duty as Pakistanis to really work towards because we're the ones losing out it's you know it's the 220 million uh, population that needs um, you know a place to work a place to live they need the supply chains to be flowing so inflation can be controlled all of that will only happen if everybody does their part it is critical that we play to our strengths uh, provide visibility across that chain and then benefit from a bigger pie right uh, a faster growth cycle and that outcome i think creates much more uh, sustainable opportunities again which is key and again can create ideas and, and innovation much much faster